Hello everyone and welcome to the Real Word Podcast, the place where real thoughts, real ideas, and real words come to life. I'm your host Drew, coming from San Diego, California. Thank you for stopping by, tuning in, checking out the channel. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit up those links down below. And now let's get into the episode. I have this nice little Jack wax from king's garden right here if you want to check that out it's pretty nice it looks good has a nice smell to it and uh yeah it's a nice little sativa or at least sativa dominant um to start out the morning so that's what we will do and then we will get into a couple of topics and uh, what's been going on here. But mainly we'll stick to a a few like current events, news topics, and uh, all of that. So, but first I gotta heat up this nail and then we will dive in. So this morning, I mean, I'll just get into it right here while I'm heating up the nail. It is frustrating, man. I've been having some problems in here in the studio in the garage uh, the last few days um, just from setting up to uh, things just not holding properly and uh, there's been a few things but I, I got in this morning flipped on the light switch and uh, the light bulb burned out so that was a good way to start the morning I had to kind of uh, go back into the house find a light bulb that I could take out and uh, I did and I think it's not as bright so that's probably why it might look a little different today but yeah I don't think it's giving off as much light but you know I had to improvise things have been this is not it has not been my week for uh, getting things up and running smoothly for for me and it's only Wednesday so we'll see what happens hopefully the rest of the week can kind of uh, turn around and be a little bit better so it's been frustrating the last couple of days just dealing with this kind of stuff but you know making it work getting it done doing what I gotta do so all right if you're smoking along cheers i got this dab heated up cooled down and now we are ready to go i'll probably cough my head off for a minute so i apologize in advance i do have my coffee here so hopefully that'll help ease it a little bit but cheers that was coming I knew that was coming <clears throat> but it's nice it's nice <clears throat> good way to get a head change to start the morning that is for sure it's nice so Oh, I've been talking about technical difficulties, so let me just kind of get into uh, yesterday as well. Man, so me and uh, Zach had a uh, Instagram live. So if you get this today, go check that out at the No World Order podcast before it goes away at uh, like two thirty or three thirty p.m. today. <coughs> um. Because a quarter of the way in, like uh, five, ten minutes in, uh, my mic setup completely failed me and messed up. And uh, I wasn't able to record the audio for the Instagram live post. So we kind of uh, are missing out on that audio to be uploaded, which is unfortunate because we went into a whole hour about Project Bluebeam. And uh, it just seems like we were kind of getting started. It, it's 
it sucks that Instagram cuts the live off after an hour, but <coughs> we didn't even have it recording anyway, so it's a uh, it's good. It was a good starter. There's like I said, there's so much to talk about that kind of uh topic right there and um because it kind of branches off into so many different things that you know we were just kind of talking about a lot of different things is branching off and then segueing into other things and then circling back around and um it was a it was a fun conversation it was a good one and i told him he needs to come over here as soon as possible so we can uh go long form and um not recreate that episode but uh just build upon it and uh, reintroduce the topic again because yeah we were having a great conversation with it and then it had to kind of end abruptly and it's unfortunate we're not gonna have uh that audio to post on youtube because i do believe it was a good episode but it was my fault um my setup just completely failed me like just a 10 minutes in or whatever and it was frustrating. <clears throat> like I said, it's uh, it hasn't been my week when it comes to uh, dealing with all of this stuff here, but I'm still pushing through. I'm encountering these setbacks and obstacles, and I'm still just pushing through it, and uh, I got to do it because, I mean, this is something I truly enjoy and what I want to do, so it's like, yeah, it's frustrating. I, I, I'm getting frustrated at these little things, but... Um, I'm finding a way to make it work and I'm, you know, I'm just rolling with it and just keeping it moving. So, yeah, just uh, go check out uh, the No World Order, the underscore No World Order podcast Instagram and uh, go follow it. There's been a ton of followers. We're almost at 100 followers now and um, a good like 25 of those have come within the last week or so. So that's pretty awesome. Shout out to everybody who's going there, following it, keeping an eye out and all of that. And uh, we definitely appreciate it. That's for sure. So let's get into a couple of a uh, couple of uh, like, I don't know, current events, news topics, whatever. Like, um, so I was on Instagram yesterday and uh shout out to uh Disaster the battle rapper and um he's been just going crazy with all of this uh COVID virus talk and um he's just been kind of exposing a bunch of stuff and posting uh alternative news sources and information and facts and all of that and uh he posted yesterday, I, I just found, I found that, okay, listen to this whole thing all together, all right? So, he had this thing on his story from LA Times, and then I went and found the LA Times Twitter and found the article to make sure it was all legit and all of that. I'm not saying I didn't believe, uh, I didn't not believe disaster or whatever, but I wanted to go read the article myself or at least skim through it, and uh, yeah, LA Times uh, yesterday, or could have been the day before, posted an article saying that there's been a new mutated, uh, a new mutated coronavirus, and it's gonna be worse, and like, could be more deadly, and people won't know or it'll only affect people the second time around that they get it and uh there it was a it was a little confusing but i say that to say i then went and saw another article i believe it was from fox that was saying that yes there's a mutated virus but that only shows signs that uh the, the COVID-19 is weakening and we are getting control of it. So, I don't know, man. I just find that super interesting that like one article is saying no is going to be way more deadly because it's mutated and we don't know what's going on. And, and to me, that almost sounds like it could just be like 
almost like the regular flu, right? Like they have to switch vaccines every year because it's always mutating. It's never the same flu strain. So to me, if they're saying that, it's like, how is this any different than the flu? Maybe I'm just super ignorant. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't seem to be because I seem to try and read all these things and stay up to date. And uh, <clears throat> I just don't know. I don't know. I don't, you know, if they're going to just it, from everything I've seen, it just seems like it's the flu or flu like symptoms or like a really bad flu. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't know. It's uh, and then just have this so polar opposites one saying it's going to be more deadly because it's mutated and one saying no it's actually getting weaker because it's mutated and it's just going to get weaker and weaker and it's like how do we know what to believe anymore like how do we know what is real what to believe what is true <clears throat> so that's why it's like i try and look at both sides all articles i try and look at independent stuff i try and look at truth movement stuff i try and I try and gauge a view that is pretty well-rounded, but I mean, of course, we all have our biases and everything. I try and look at things from a unbiased opinion, but I mean, we all have our biases, you know? So uh, it's uh, it's tough, man. You We never know what to believe or what to take as truth and facts and I guess we kind of just got to navigate that ourselves and just kind of figure it out ourselves. And, um, yeah, it's, a <clears throat> it's a interesting and frustrating time for sure. But, um, uh, another big thing, man, it's like, I've been getting into this with my brother and then another buddy too. And, um, it's been going around on social media that like, the uh these hospitals some of these hospitals are getting more money for covid deaths and patients and then more specifically if those patients are put on a, a ventilator um i found that really interesting um some see my brother and my buddy were saying that that wasn't necessarily true but I looked up multiple articles and it said it was backed up by fact-checking stuff. And it says that the like that's kind of standard practice that in these types of situations, people with higher death rates or whatever receive more money to kind of alleviate some of that hardship that's going on. So it said it was kind of standard practice. But it did say they weren't using it to manipulate numbers. So cool. Take that, but then go with the CDC guidelines that state that people in these hospitals can go in there with underlying conditions, can, um, and if they die, they don't even have to be tested for COVID. It could just be presumed. And then they can put uh, cause of death was uh, from COVID-19. And it says that they are allowed to do that through the CDC. Like it, it's presumed or something like that is the verbiage and language they use. But I looked it up on their own website and I... I sent it to my brother and he was reading it too and he was like oh that's kind of interesting but um so when you put both of those things together where they don't have to be tested and they can just come in with something else and the doctors say presumed had covid-19 symptoms and they're not breaking any rules but because of that, now they're getting additional funding. So there is no technical manipulation because there's all following the rules, but the rules are in favor for 
everything going on uh, with these hospitals receiving extra money. And, um, you know, I think that's a, a little concerning, a little scary. I don't really like it, um, especially when I looked at it and it said it was factually based. So, but again, who knows? Like, I'm just a crazy conspiracy theorist, you know? So, I don't, I don't know. Um, but I, I looked it up. I, I can see it myself. And just because your hospital isn't getting additional income right now or what, you know, like, doesn't mean it's not happening other places. And, um, I'm not just gonna blindly uh, believe what I'm hearing from higher ups or people in charge. Like I have to go do my own research. I'm not gonna just listen. Yes, sir. Yes, I believe you. Like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Like I have to go look and from everything I've seen, it's uh, a little not, I can't say manipulative because they're following the rules, but the rules are in favor of these hospitals and um that's based on everything i've seen so i don't know man i don't know it's it's interesting it's interesting but i would definitely look into it if uh if you have the opportunity i so that's the thing with this like i sent multiple articles to my brother to my buddy and you know things like that they didn't send me any articles back they didn't prove nothing back to me, but I'm sending factually based information because that's what I try and go off of is like statistics, numbers, and uh, you know, sometimes that doesn't paint the full picture. So I don't know. I tr Like I said, I try and get a well-rounded view on things and um, I usually hear something like crazy or out or outlandish from like a independent news source from like a Tim Pool or a Steven Crowder or something like that, you know, Gavin McGinnis or some, you know, something like that. I'll hear some sort of crazy accusation or new statistic article, whatever. And then I'll be like, no way that can't be true. And then I'll look it up and I'll see multiple things on it. And then I'll see what they said. And all. so it's like, I don't know. I I try and stay informed. It can be a little overwhelming at times, but you know, it's uh it's I don't know. I I really don't know. But I did want to touch on this other thing. Um so businesses i guess are going to be starting to open S small businesses here in san diego anyway um i believe starting on friday or they might even start implementing it uh tomorrow i'm not a hundred percent sure but i do know <clears throat> certain businesses are going to be starting to open and uh i'm sure that just means that uh more regulations and more like oh mandatory mask wearing and all of that but um there's been this post going around i've reposted it a couple of times and uh it's it's basically an exemption for you it's a way for you to not wear a mask if you choose like if you want and it's basically saying i, I am exempt from any ordinance requiring face mask usage in public Wearing a face mask poses a mental or physical health risk to me. And under the ADA Americans Disability Act, you are not required to disclose any medical conditions. And if they require it, they can be in violation of HIPAA regulations. And um, you'd be able to report them if they kind of question you and try and uh, force you to disclose any medical information. So... That's just something to uh, kind of protect yourself uh, if you're out in public and, uh, you know, a mask does kind of pose that sort of 
risk to your mental health or your physical health i mean i can just give an example for like you know some someone with like autism or something like how are you gonna make a kid with autism wear a mask when they already have these like sensory issues and things like that going on and uh you know, this is a good way to kind of protect yourself and um, not let them take your rights away. And that doesn't mean these stores or businesses <clears throat> will let you in because they have the right to refuse anyone. And that's the agreement that we have as people and businesses. And um, that's just kind of how it goes. But that's a that little statement is a. Uh, a good way to kind of if you're just walking around and <clears throat> out in public and they want you to wear a mask you're like nah it uh, mess i'm messes with my mental health messes with my physical health blah 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 so look into that i tried actually looking up the uh, website from where it came from i couldn't find the exact link or anything like that so i mean you know it could all be bullshit because i really couldn't find the source of where it came from it could be all photoshop but i'm just saying look into it do your part because i'm i'm i looked into it i saw the post going around i i went to the these websites but i just couldn't find that exact excerpt but it does say like you know they're there to protect you and all of that and just read through the uh ada website and um I think you'll have a better understanding of uh, what's going on. But again, I couldn't find that exact excerpt. So who knows? Who knows, right? It all could be just kind of a... Uh, it all could just be misinformation. Like, it's kind of been the theme of this episode. Who knows what to believe? Like, uh, anything could be Photoshopped. Anything can be CGI'd. Anything can be made into anything nowadays we have that sort of technology so it's uh it's you know we gotta pay attention and be careful with it that's for sure that is for sure so not much else is going on there is a uh, ufc gonna be starting this weekend definitely excited about that so i will be on the lookout and trying to watch that um yeah, but, and then I think they're going to be keeping it going. Like, they have two additional cards within, like, that eight-day span or something like that. So, it's exciting. UFC is going to be back. Um, and, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the fights. I believe it's going to be on Saturday, uh, this first one. Justin Gaethje and Tony Ferguson. And then, what, we have uh, Dominic Cruz and... Uh, and uh henry cejudo <clears throat> as the co-main yeah i i believe this card is a pretty stacked card i they have cowboy and pettis closing out the uh the prelim card or whatever you know the yeah so that'll be just seems like it's a stacked card all the way through so i'm definitely excited definitely looking forward to some fights and then uh, I know Money in the Bank is, I believe, Sunday. So I might figure out something to do with that. Hang out somewhere. I don't know. Might just keep it at the house. I don't really know yet. But probably be watching both of those things. And uh, yeah, that, that's about all I have going on. Um, I will be back for another episode of the real word podcast on friday so be on the lookout for that this one was more news article kind of current event uh you know centric i guess <clears throat> and um friday's gonna be a mixture of both monday and wednesday's episodes kind of like a little personal stuff and then a little current event stuff so i want to keep monday kind of an update on myself wednesday kind of go over current events news stuff and then uh friday do a little mixture of both so i think that's a good format and a good formula um and then tuesday morning tokes that was 
yesterday. So check that out. That's going to be a weekly thing. And then Drew and Chase side by side. I think we should be getting squared squared away again, possibly this weekend. So hopefully we will be back in order with that. And then as of now, I know me and Zach are going live on Instagram on Tuesdays. At least that's been the last few weeks. Um, normally... I record the audio and upload it onto YouTube, but just yesterday, like I said, I wasn't able to, but we will get back to that or, you know, eventually we'll get to like Zoom, Skype or something like that while we are away from uh, each other and then maybe um, just do Instagram lives and uh, keep it exclusive there where you have to tune in to kind of see it there on that day um so yeah we'll see we'll see it's kind of an ever-changing channel right now we're just going with the flow making it work making it happen just continuing to push out the content and uh be as creative as possible during these times so that is about all I got. I appreciate everybody stopping by. If you're still listening, thank you. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit up those links down below. Hit up the Robinhood link. It'll uh, get you a free stock. It'll get me a free stock. And uh, win-win for everybody there. So I will leave it there. Thank you, everybody. And until next time, peace.